Welcome back to another episode of Quest for One Piece. This is Mr. Smallmouth. Today we'll be unboxing the One Piece Beast Pirates, also known as the Animal Kingdom Pirates by G5 Studios. Welcome back to my channel. Before we begin guys, if you are looking for statues collectibles such as One Piece, Naruto, Dragon Ball, Demon Slayer, Pokemon, Bleach, do check out GAC at www.gamesanimationcollectibles.com They have tons of figuring in stock as well as for pre-order. They are based in Singapore and do provide worldwide shipping as well. New users can get 5% off coupon when you register under my GAC referral code link, I'll place the link in the description down below. Back to today's video, we are going to unbox the Beast Pirates Supreme Commander Kaido in his Beast form, as well as the All Stars and Kaido's closest confidants known as the Disasters, King, Queen and Jack. Let's start unboxing. Alright, first up we are going to start with the Dragon form of Kaido. So this is actually the front design, this is the back design, the top design, this is the left side, and lastly the right side. The Kaido figurine comes with a card, this is the front design, the back design. It also comes with a QR code so that you can see how to piece up the figurine together. As well as, I think this is a manic for the battery part later on. This is how it looks like inside. Alright, so for the Kaido Dragon Farm figurine, consists of um, 11 parts. So firstly, we take a look at the very impressive looking Dorama base. So this is actually the headquarter of the Beast Pirate. It's uh, actually based in Wano country uh, on this island called the Onigashima it comes with a battery inside you just have to take out this strip then we take the magnet provided just now you just have to touch at the mouth area then it will light up so you see this LED light effect is um, fading in and out very cool and very um, eerie looking vibe then to turn it off, you just have to tap it again with the magnet. Awesome! And next, we have the very impressive looking uh, body of the dragon form. It's very massive. And I like the details. You can see the hair is um, black with uh, some golden tip. And the scale is uh, very detailed. Then we see the trademark scar on uh, Kaido then we have the head of Kaido so you can see the details on the face and then it comes with uh, three claws so this one is the front claw with the tattoo and also we have the tail hair of uh, Kaido and the two horns that's, that will be on his head and lastly two of his moustache okay so to piece everything up we will take the Diorama base first then we bring in the body of Kaido front claw first so the one with the tattoo goes here at the front and then at the back will be for this claw and lastly the last claw will go here at the toe so it's for this claw here the claw will be facing back and then we put the body onto the slot on top of the scar then at the back here is where the 
स्थिर है वो गो नेक्स्ट वी विल ब्रिंग द हेड सो वी विल इंसर्ट द हॉन्स फॉर हिम फर्स्ट देन वी विल जॉइन द हेड टू द बॉडी And lastly, the two moustache will be here below his nostril, and we are done. The dragon form of Kaido, Kaido of the Beast, also known as the world's strongest creature, is the supreme commander of the Beast Pirates and one of the four emperors. Kaido at the Yo Yo no Mi model Seiryu. A rare mythical Zoan type devil fruit that allows him to transform into a full Azuro dragon at will. His full beast form is massive, roughly half the size of a small town, with extremely durable blue skills. Up next, we have King. So this is the front design with a king in front, and here says Inflammation King. This is the back design. Here's the top design, the left side, and lastly the right side. So this figuring also comes with a cut. This is the front design, back design. This is how it looks like inside. All right. So for King, there's a total of seven parts. Firstly, we look at the Duama base. So this looks like a uh, top of the volcano. So here you can see um, the lavas flowing out and splatting around. Then there's this very gruesome looking thick smoke coming out from the lava. And next we have King. So this is a close up of his face. Then here we have his um, suit. Then this is the back of it. Then we have two black wings of King. Next is the flame that is uh, rising out at the back of uh, King's head. And lastly, his sword. Okay, so to place everything together, we will take the Dorama base first. So right here at the thick smoke, there's a joint here where the leg of King will go. And then the shelf of the sword will be on his right side. There's a joint here. His sword will go on his left hand. And then the back will be his wings. And lastly, the fire. And there we have it. King. King, the conflagration, is an all-star of the Beast Pirates. He is part of a yet-to-be-identified race that is currently thought to be extinct. King at the Rai Rayu no Mi model, Pyranodon, an ancient Zoan type devil fruit that allows him to transform into a full Pyranodon and a human Pyranodon hybrid at will. When transformed, he is more clad in flames than usual and gains the ability to fly. Next up, we have Queen. So this is the front design with the close-up of Queen's face. Here it puts Pestilence Queen. This is the back design. Here we have the top design, left side. And lastly, this is the right side. This figuring also comes with a cut. So this is the front design, the back design. This is how the inside will look like. There are eight parts for the queen figuring, the drama base. So this is probably the, the jail area in Wano. So here is the some of the buildings of the jail. Then uh, some pipes. Then we can see some skulls around the diorama. Then at the back is uh, a pipe leaking um, some contaminated 
water then we have the massive queen so this is his close out of his face and then this is his outfit then we look at his right arm so this is his tattoo queen and his right cyborg arm and then we have his hair then there is two swords also one of the building in the jail very cool looking cigar that is lighted up love the smoke effect and then lastly we have a cylinder stone dummy where Queen used to demonstrate his explosive neck chain that is used on his prisoners. Okay, so to piece everything up, firstly we will take a Queen. So at the back of Queen there's a joint here which goes over here on the diorama. Next we will put the two Daggers at the side of Queen, and then his hair goes at the back of his head. The building will be on top of this platform. The stone dummy will be over here, and lastly, his favorite cigar. And we are done. Queen the plug is an all star of the Beast Pirates. Queen has multiple high technological weapons and mechanisms installed within his body, which he usually activates while employing his Zoyan abilities. Queen at the Ryu Ryu no Mi model Ventrosaurus, an ancient Zoyan type devil fruit that allows him to transform into a full Ventrosaurus and a human Ventrosaurus hybrid at will. When fully transformed, Queen becomes much bigger and towers over even large humans like Big Mum, who stands over 8 meters tall. Last but not least, we have Jack. So this is the front design with a close-up shot of Jack. Then there's uh, the wording drop Jack. This is the back design. This is the top design. This is left side and nasty the right side. And this figurine also comes with a cut. So this is the front design and the back design. This is how it looks like inside. In total, we have eight parts for Jack. So we'll take a look at the diorama base. So this is a very dry looking terrain. And there's like a rib cage of a corpse. A skull of maybe a cow. Then we have some spine, skeleton at the side. Then some horns, tusks coming out from the side as well. And then we have a very massive body of Jack. Then the belt with the Beast Pirate logo on it. And just a very massive layer of uh, coat. And then we have the head of Jack here. So you can see this is the close-up view of Jack. Very serious looking. And here we have his ponytail. Two tusks and nasty two weapons with some blood stain at the edges. Okay, so to piece everything up, we will bring in the drama base first. So here will be where Jack will be right so if you see underneath his coat there's a join here you just have to put it here to join them together next will be the task so one here and one here then we have the head of Jack so we will place him on the neck and then his ponytail will be on top of the head and lastly his weapons and we are done Jack the Draught is an all-star of the Beast Pirates he is a giant grouper fishman of massive stature 
doffing his crewmates and standing taller than even Kaido. Jack at the Zozonomi model mammoth, an ancient Zoin type devil fruit that allows him to transform into a full mammoth and a human mammoth hybrid at will. Have you ever wondered if a fishman ate a devil fruit? Since Jack is a devil fruit user, he has also lost the ability to swim, but because he is a fishman, he can breathe underwater. Though, he still will not be able to move if he falls into the water. We've come to the end of the video. What do you think of the Beast Pirates figurines done by G5 Studios? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, thank you for watching all the way to the end. You can follow me on my Facebook and Instagram page to get the latest updates. Do watch my other videos on the left. I'll see you guys on my next video. This is Mr. Smallmouth. Peace out.